Welcome to agency to go This first tutorial will show you how to get logged in and set up to utilize our great time-saving features. First, follow the provided link to the agency to go homepage and log in using your provided email address, password, and agency number. Click login. Once you are logged in, you are placed on the user homepage, a central page for reminders, calendar entries, and a list of your recent activity. The first order of business is to complete your user information within the program. Click the Agency button, then select Employees on the left side. Find your employee record and click Edit. If your user account has supervisory access, you will be able to see and edit any of the user accounts. If you are not a supervisory user, you can only see and modify your own account. From the Employee Information screen, you can modify your email, cell phone, and signature setup. Let's start with email setup. To utilize the outgoing email features of the program and the program's texting features, you must set up the email information in the Employee Information window. The information you will enter here is the outgoing server information for your email provider. Many times, this information will be listed on the support page of your email host. Let's say that our example user has a Gmail account that allows for third-party sending. We can enter the server information provided on the Gmail site and the email we send from agency to go will send through that server. If I want a copy of the emails I send, I check the box to automatically CC emails to me. Don't forget to come update this information in the event of an email password or server change. To be able to receive text alarms, you will need to enter your cell phone number. If you have an electronic signature to use on your Accord Forms, you can click the button to upload your signature, browse to its location, then click Open and the signature will attach to your user record. If you are new to agency to go you can check the Use Tutorials option, which will provide guidance through the workflow of the program as you go from feature to feature. When complete, click OK to save the changes you have made. The last subject we will cover in this tutorial is adding or replacing user accounts. If you need to remove and replace a user account in the program, and you would like the new user to retain the calendar of the old user. You can simply edit the old user account, entering the new user information over the top of the old information. If you need to retain the original user to be named as a rep on the policy level, contact technical support to assist you in deactivating the old record to a non-user and activate a new user account in its place. Contact your account representative if you need to add an additional user license to your account. Continue on to other tutorials to learn how to get the most out of agency to go